Hello and uh, welcome to my uh, Blender tutorial. Okay, so just fire up Blender. Uh, current version 2.48a. Okay, it's a tiny a. Okay, so uh, you're all fired up and ready to go with uh, some more advanced motion blur. Except it is not motion blur. Okay, you're going to see the differences in a few minutes. Okay. So, uh, you have your little cube here, as always, you know, just uh, press 7 on the numpad, space, add mesh, plane, okay? Uh, let's, uh, let's expand it a bit by pressing S, there you go, that should do it, and uh, move it underneath the cube, G, and on the Z axis, like this, okay? That should do it. Okay, we're going to uh, test with some uh, keyframes. You know, if you know those, good for you. If you don't, eh, doesn't matter that much. Okay, so uh, top view, 7 again on the numpad. And zoom out. Okay, so uh, let's move the cube on the left bottom corner, like this. Press G, and just you know drag it over here. Okay. So uh, that's your cube. You you might want you might want to render okay F12. Nothing special, you know. The cube slightly off uh, off camera. Not not very interesting, you know. Okay, let's uh, move move along. Yeah, let's go uh, to um, the tenth frame. Okay, click on this little thing and type in one zero. Okay. This is uh, the frame our cube will be here, okay? So, you know, just remember 10. Okay, go back to 1, because we forgot something, 1. Oh, you know, just press shift and or left arrow, okay? And with a cube selected, okay, make sure it is selected, right-click it. Press I, and insert key look, which stands for location, obviously. Okay, uh, back to the 10th frame. 10. Um, move your cube, let's say over here, right up a corner, and again press I and loc, location. Okay, so uh, <coughs> let's limit our animation to 10 frames. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. Uh, start, you know, render options, by the way, F10. Start 1 and 10, like this, okay? Uh, zoom out. Let's go to the first frame and animate. Okay, press Alt A. A as an apricot, not as in two to the third power. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Anyway, just Alt A. And you know this? It's it's a weirdo thing. Okay, a cube going like this and on and on forever. Okay, this is now. Uh, let's uh, let's try and make a material for it. Okay, let's let's say with uh, F5 to go to the materials thing. Add new. Let's make it. Uh, I don't know, orange. Yeah. And for the plane, the same thing. Right click it. Add a new material. Let's say the opposite of. Nah. Let's try with green. Okay, horrible contrast, but it'll help. Okay, let's let's render. Okay, as you can see, horrible contrast. You almost start bleeding. Um, so let's let's just advance a few frames. Okay, by pressing the right arrow, uh, you'll advance one frame. Okay, same with left arrow, except you will go back one frame. Okay, so let's leave it to five. And test out motion blur. Okay, press F10 or go to uh, this little thing, which is render options. Well, scene render options. Um, let's activate oversampling, you know, just for the kicks. And motion blur activated. It's shortened M blur. And by default, it's at uh, 0 0.50. Okay, so let's render. This will render five frames and uh, choose the median you know, movement of it. 
not very nice for high high uh, you know, velocity objects but uh, it will get the job done with textures okay moving textures that's motion blur okay so you know just play with it let's say five render a very blurred out thing but as you can see it's always at five samples which isn't enough for you know motion okay so just deactivate and blur and um, well let's go to sequence and all that okay shift right click oops don't, don't do that no, no five uh, control right click my mistake twice you know uh, if you don't have this scene strip just press space and add scene click scene and all that okay they have the same setup as, as me and um, <clears throat> well let's try and get the notes working okay click on this little thing which looks like a chart you know and uh, let's open the node editor okay this thing let's uh, let's zoom in as it were space sh space shift actually shift space yeah with a cursor in this area this just zooms in kind of okay so uh, click on the face over here composite nodes use nodes and you notice two things just appeared okay you have the render layer which is basically what you render this thing and the composite or uh, the output of your whole effect array okay so just press space somewhere add filter vector blur okay and let's see how we connect these you you might recognize stuff like image with image Z with the Z but what are we going to do with speed huh? nowhere to go for that we're going to zoom out you now shift space and uh, from render layers over here <coughs> render layers just press vec which stands for vectors yeah. deliver speed vector pass click you've noticed speed has appeared over here okay so it's uh it's kind of a really um omitted thing you know it gets fixed okay so link image to image z to z speed to speed obviously and uh, output image to output node okay and let's uh, zoom out and click do composite over here okay that should do it press f12 to render and you notice it's another blur okay this one is better because you can adjust the sample um, of it it's by default at 32 let's try with an incredible 256 okay as you can see um, it's almost seamless okay you have seamless blur which is very nice and you can increase the blur factor oops from 1 to 0 which is basically no blur kind of makes you wonder why they had zero um, two two maximum of two which is this okay so very blurry and that's basically what you can do with V blur okay oh that and if you uh, mix it with motion blur let's see what you get hmm. you get uh, maximum blur okay so that's pretty much it you know if you, if you want to render oh and by the way for all of you newbies out there me uh, among them um, check out my channel or you know video description and you'll find a link that link links you to a playlist with all my tutorials okay I made that for you uh, so that you will, won't have to uh, ask me if I did any of those tutorials. Okay, so just bookmark it if you want. No, it's not gonna get me any popularity or anything like that. 
um, but it will, it will probably help you okay so that's basically it uh, goodbye